So after that night, I had magical powers. And now I'm part elf, part fairy, and part me. And that's turning out to be a real mess. If you're a fairy, do some magic. Oh, I'll need my wand. I dropped it when I fell. It's under the bed. You can do magic with this. Oh, careful. Don't break it. Thank you. Wow, you are a fairy. Charlie, what are you doing? Don't tell her about me, please. Sweetheart, why aren't you in bed? The music started. I was turning it off. Oh, started all by itself, did it? Yes, all by itself. Go to sleep. Good night, princess. Still awake? Ah. Sweetheart? Can't sleep? Something on your mind? Mm -mm. You sure? I'm happy to talk about it. No. I'm fine. Okay, well, try and get some sleep. Good night. He doesn't know. Why not? I hate lying to him, but it's just best that he doesn't. I wish my dad was here to see you. Where is he? He died. Sorry? That must be really hard. My mum died. When? Three years ago. I miss her too. Could you use your magic to bring them back? No. Can't you even try? If I had that kind of magic, I'd use it in a second. I'd give anything to see my mom again, but it's just not possible. Does it ever get easier? My mom says it will, but I don't know. It will. Trust me. It just takes time. What do you remember about your mom? Well, she made great cupcakes. And she never missed any of my basketball games. Not one. She didn't care if I won or lost, only that I tried my best. And you know what? She used to call me princess too. I can't do this. Well, it's stupid. What's the point of it? It's the same point as bringing down a flying chair or bringing down a suit of armor. They had a point. They were mad. But it might be one day. You never know. We're training to be prepared for all contingencies. When you get into the DMI. What if I don't want to get into the DMI? Just try again. Why bother? Look, Maxwell's going to ask me to do it for a test, and I'm going to fail. So you're going to give up then? I'm not like you, Imogen. I never have been. Then I'm wasting my time. What are you doing? Kyra's in trouble. She was upset, so I used a spell to give her the full fairy experience. And I let her do a tooth job by herself. You did what? But the spell's gone wrong, and she shrunk in a little girl. I can see her. I have to help her. What spell was it? I, I can't remember. Which, which book did you use? I left it right here. Is this it? Yes. It won't open. Why won't it open? What did you do to it? But you know what I think? What? Even though we've both lost parents, we're still pretty lucky. How come? We both still have parents who love us. We have to open it. 
<laughs> Lily, stop. I never meant for this to happen. Lily, don't cry. Crying's not gonna help. Sorry. Actually, no. Keep crying. What? The fairy tears. They're magic. Getting wings? Ugh, I thought. Uh, the magic lasts for a day, blah, blah, blah. Did you read this last bit? It is strongly advised that this spell is not used on other magical beings. Consequences can include permanent miniaturization. So Kyra can stay shrunk forever? Sally, I really think it's time for me to go. No, you can live in my doll's house and we can have fun all the time. What about my dad? He'll wonder where I am. You can visit him. I don't want to just visit him. I want to live with him. That's where I belong. And don't be sad. Amazing things are going to happen in your future. I mean, look at me. One day I was an ordinary girl. And now, I'm a fairy. Oh, beautiful. You're such an amazing fairy, Kyra. It's my friend, Lily. Oh, you can't see her, but she's come to get me. I don't want you to go. I'll visit you, Sally. You might not be able to see me, but I'll be here, watching over you. Promise? Promise. Can you please open the window? We need to go. I have to say goodbye. Bye, Sally. What are you still doing up? <laughs> Where did that come from? The Tooth Fairy.